Hi guys, so I'm talking a little bit more quiet right now because the baby's taking a nap in the other room and I want to be able to get through this. But in today's video, I am sharing with you my new meal prep routine now that I really don't have that much time. It's super easy to just make a few recipes, super delicious, and I'm gonna show you how you can swap and um, interchange all of them to make lots of different combinations of meals throughout the week. It just makes life so much easier and tastier and uh, allows you to stay healthy and stick with your budget as well. There's just so many reasons that you should be meal prepping. So let's get started. I like to start my meal prep with the dishes that take the longest or that I can set and forget. So let's start with the roasted veggies. Today I'm roasting Brussels sprouts, broccoli, zucchini, and mushrooms. Once cut, toss them with oil and sea salt and add fresh garlic. Spread evenly onto a baking sheet, sprinkle on some black pepper, and roast at 375 degrees for about 30 minutes. Next we'll bake sweet potatoes. Poke holes with the fork into the sweet potatoes. Then coat them with a little bit of oil. Bake those in the same oven as the other veggies for about 45 minutes to an hour. And next we'll get our Instant Pot going with some lentils. Combine sorted and rinsed lentils, fresh garlic, cumin powder, oregano, cumin seeds, chili powder, salt, and pepper. Then add a can of diced tomatoes and water and stir. Pressure cook in the Instant Pot for six minutes and let it natural steam release for 10 minutes before quick releasing. Okay, now for my new favorite bean salad. Into a mixing bowl, add cooked corn, beans, diced red onion, diced red bell pepper, chopped tomatoes, and minced cilantro. In another bowl, mix together fresh lime juice, agave, curry powder, black pepper, salt, and oil. Whisk to combine. Pour that over the salad and stir well. Let that marinate for at least an hour before eating. Now we're going to make my other favorite dish, carrot chickpea tuna. Add black pepper, Dijon mustard, ume plum vinegar, dull seaweed, and vegan mayo to chickpeas. Mash with the fork and then mix in shredded carrots and stir well. That's it. When your Instant Pot is free again, make your grains. Toast quinoa first, then add brown rice and water. Give that a stir and add a bit of salt and oil. Then pressure cook for 24 minutes. I also like to wash my kale during my prep day so that I don't have to do that later. Keep it fresh in a container with a couple of sheets of paper towel. Okay, now you have all your basics down. I'm gonna show you how you can interchange them to make different meals throughout the week. And by doing this, you're not gonna get sick of eating the same thing every day because it's not the same thing. One day you might make pasta to go with something. One day you might make tacos with what you've got. This will allow you to not make a lot of food at the beginning of the week when you're meal prepping, but still be able to have a lot of variety throughout the week. Like for example, tacos with cooked lentils. Serve that with fresh guacamole and the curried bean and corn salad. I also like to make pasta and top that with roasted veggies. Sprinkle on a little nutritional yeast and voila. 
Stuffed sweet potatoes are a must. Fill them with the curried bean and corn salad and top with guacamole. You could also fill the potato with the lentils and rice or the vegetables. Balanced bootables are also a must. Make one with rice and quinoa, kale, sweet potato, lentils, and guacamole. Yes, I put guacamole on anything. You can make a Buddha bowl with any of the things we made in this video. Lastly, a simple kale salad topped with the carrot chickpea tuna. Check out the meal prep guide for a salad dressing that goes well with this. So those are just some combinations, but there are so many more that you can actually do. For example, I like to use the chickpea carrot tuna as a snack and I often eat it with crackers. Sometimes I don't have any crackers and I just eat it with a spoon, but it still makes a delicious and nutritious snack. So make sure you guys download my PDF with a step-by-step -step for these recipes and also a shopping list, including what I use to make all of this stuff, but also some other things that I like to buy every week that just makes our life a lot easier. For example, already prepared hummus and chips and salsa and things like that that make for a delicious snack. Hope this video also shows you that meal prepping does not have to be daunting and you don't have to spend all day long on it. You can just prepare a few simple recipes that you already know you love so hope this helps you to meal prep in the future hope this helps you stick with meal prepping because it really does make life a lot easier and it allows you to stick with your healthy diet and it allows you to save money which who doesn't want to save money so thanks so much for watching if you're not already a subscriber to my channel please hit the subscribe button and make sure you all all leave a thumbs up on this video I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.